very much for tuning in. Uh, be a very quick update today. Don't need to cover the balcony. Balcony, there's nothing really going on there. I fertilized it the other day. Um, so there's nothing really happening there. Nothing harvesting from there yet. So um, I'll just cover what's going on in the back garden. And the first thing, um, you'll see a picture in the thumbnail of the corn. And that's because we had a lot of wind the other day and a lot of the corn fell. Um, so you can see a bit of this corn if I go to the side it's on a bit of an angle especially this guy here is going this way and then this little guy here is just completely over um, as well as the other little guy next to it um, what happened was with the wind everything fell over and then at that point um, I don't know if it was raccoons or squirrels something saw the opportunity seized the opportunity at four of our corn um, one of them was ready the others weren't um, so one of them was mostly eaten and the other three were just kind of partially eaten um, there's nothing you can do at that point uh, so lost a few corn uh, I put a little bit of a barrier here because the way that it was blowing it was coming this way so uh, I've got the fence on the other side which should protect over there although obviously this side I don't have much so uh, maybe next year no corn maybe I'm thinking put the corn here um, and then I've got the spikes up there to stop the squirrels. We'll see if that works. And then put a little barrier around the side um, of this type of um, solution. So basically I've put the clips facing um, this way. So what will happen is it won't pop out. Uh, if anything, it'll stress and hopefully won't completely wreck it. But again, try that next year and give it a, give it a whirl and see what happens. Um, we do actually have potatoes which I'm going to dig up this week so as we can see this guy's completely done um, and we've got a lot of yellowing on the other one so this guy's mostly done uh, the only one that I'm not sure about looks like it's still pretty healthy is this guy but you know what I'm just going to give it a try see what we get uh, hopefully we get a lot of good stuff uh, this is the oldest one and I'm just wondering because it's deep whether it's still going for that reason I'm not too sure so uh, we'll give that a try I do have a pepper, just a sole pepper that we can harvest, which is great. But the cucumbers and the tomatoes have been doing very, very well. So I uh, got a bit of discoloration here. Um, so what I did, I, I think it was just because it was too cluttered here. So I went ahead and just gave everything a, a huge trim. So um, nice bit of space there for the air to go through and circulate to the bottom and see if that works and then likely today uh, or at least through this week I'll start harvesting some of the um, celery that'll give a bit more space there for, for more oxygen to oxygen air to flow through um, and that's quite literally it at the moment there's nothing really um, too much going on as I say I'm going I did open the corn after I found uh, the problem and they're not ready but I'm just going to check on them every couple of days because we are getting some big corn which looks like it's almost ready so uh yeah give it give it a try uh not impressed with the cucumbers here so these are just pickles as you can see we do actually have pickles there's one guy up here uh, there's another guy here and they're not looking healthy at all um this plant's looking pretty healthy this one's not so much i've fertilized it i've done as much as, as i possibly could i think next year i'll be putting a different type of cucumber in here um, to go over so I won't be having this one uh, this bed will actually go over where the raspberries are and I'll be putting more raspberries in this one and then the little square one that I've got will actually go in here and nestle in nicely so that way all the furniture and everything goes in nice here so um, yeah going to play around with everything a bit next year uh, don't think I'll be getting anything new but playing about with the stuff that I've got uh, one last thing to, to show is that we are getting tomatillos close so um, this guy as you can see touching it it's nice and full uh, so it's getting there we ha we do have a few more that, that are full and we've got a beef line around um, so yeah the tomatillos are, are doing pretty well um, not as good as last year so but there's a bit more of the season to go so let's see if that changes and whether we get some some good fruit and uh yeah we've we've got more cucumbers coming through we've got a little bit of everything but um a bit more of experimentation to, to happen next year i think 
and let's see what's going on uh, sorry last thing that I forgot to check um, which was the zucchinis so zucchinis haven't been doing so great so I trimmed them back um, I'm not really seeing that many flowers right now we do have a small flower at the bottom which looks like it's uh, I don't know if we can actually get in there um, this flower right it, it, it did flower it's dying back so hopefully that that fruited and we'll get a nice fruit from there but if not then I guess uh, I need to do a lot more work next year so I think the moral of the story this year is uh, don't be so lazy which unfortunately I have been uh, and be more active in the garden so thanks very much for tuning in and I'll speak to you soon